Hi everyone! In today's video, we'll walk you through how to troubleshoot the Tenergy Solus thermometer. If you're having trouble pairing it with your phone, please keep watching to learn how to fix it. First, I'll show you how to pair it with an iPhone and then an Android phone. Let's get into it. To pair it with an iPhone, first we'll need to go to the App Store to download the app called Solus Thermo. Tap open. The app will ask for your permission to use Bluetooth. Select OK. Then it'll ask you to send new notifications. Select allow since you'll want to be notified when your food is ready. Press and hold this button to turn on the thermometer. For first time users, make sure to insert the batteries into the thermometer before we begin. Once the thermometer is on, select start on your app. It will take a few seconds to scan for the device. Then the app will ask you to press the thermometer's button once to confirm the device is correct. Press this button on your thermometer. The app will start pairing within a second and then show you if it's successfully paired with the thermometer. Tap done. And that's it. The thermometer is now connected with the iPhone. Now we'll pair it with an Android phone. The process is similar when pairing with an iPhone. You'll need to go to the Google Play Store to download the Solus Thermal app. Open the app and it'll ask to access the device's current location. You can select either while using the app or only this time in order to connect it to the Solus thermometer for the first time. Press and hold this button to turn on the thermometer. Select start on your app, then the app will ask you to press the thermometer's button once to confirm it's the correct device. Press this button on your thermometer. Tap done and your Android phone and thermometer are now connected. If you still can't pair them, let's try troubleshooting it. There could be a few reasons that causes this. The first reason is that you're using the wrong app. It should be the Solus Thermo app with a logo like this. If not, please uninstall that app and download the correct one. Second, the thermometer could be off. Make sure to turn it on. If it's not on, check the battery compartment to make sure you insert the batteries correctly or replace the batteries if necessary. Then try to pair it again following our instructions at the beginning of the video. Another cause could be the location permission on Android phones. If you're using an Android phone, you'll need to allow the app to have permission to access the device's current location before pairing them. This action is only required for the first time you pair the thermometer to a new phone. You can deny this action once they are paired. To do that, you'll need to uninstall that app and download it again. When the app asks you to access the location, you can select either while using the app or only this time. Your phone should be able to find the thermometer now, and you can follow the instruction to finish pairing them. If the phone fails to pair with the thermometer, that can also be because it's already paired with another thermometer. This happens when the users have more than one Solus thermometer and try to pair them to the same device. Only one thermometer can be paired per device. So if you're having this problem, we suggest you pair the second thermometer to a different phone. However, if you prefer the second thermometer to be paired on the current device you're using, then you should delete the first thermometer before pairing the second one. To delete it, tap on the device information bar. Then you'll see the trash can icon on the top right corner. Select it. Tap OK to delete it. Once it's removed, you can now pair a new thermometer to your phone. Another reason that's causing the pairing issue could be that the thermometer is connected to another device. This happens when you're trying to pair it with another device. You can pair it to multiple devices, but it can only stay connected to one device at a time. So if you're currently connected to one device, you won't be able to compare it with another active device. There are two ways to fix that. First, if you don't want to use the thermometer on the current device, you should delete it before pairing it to a new device. If you want to have the thermometer on the current device and the new device, you can do the following to pair it to the new device. First, make sure the connection between the thermometer and the current device is off by closing the app and turning off the thermometer. Then, open the Solus Thermometer app on the new device and turn on the thermometer. Now, the new device should be able to find the thermometer and then pair with each other. Keep in mind that although you can pair the thermometer to multiple devices at the same time with the method I just showed you, it'll stay connected to only one device at a time. For example, if it's connected to my phone like this, I won't be able to control it on my iPad. To use it on my iPad, I'll need to close the app on my phone, then open the app on my iPad for them to connect to each other. You'll see this Bluetooth icon change color from gray to orange to let you know when they're connected. Now I can control this thermometer on this iPad. 
That's it for this video. We hope you find it helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.